Today, you're going to learn how to use Superbase database webhooks to, wow, that was a tongue twister, to trigger edge functions when CRUD operations occur. So we're going to get right into this here. Right into Superbase, we have this fake data table, which just has a ID that is an auto-generated UUID. So what we're going to do from here is we have to turn on database webhooks. So to do that, we'll go over here to database. Then we'll go to webhooks. Then you will see database webhooks here. Now I've already enabled this, but if this is your first time seeing it, you're, there's going to be an enable button somewhere around here. Now, once you have that enabled, we can then go to webhooks. And this is where we can start assigning our HTTP request or our super base edge functions. So for example, let's say my new database webhook, I want it to be send fake data, right? And the table that I want that to be on is on the fake data table. If I can find that, there it is. And then I'm only going to do that on insert just for the sake of this tutorial. Now, in the type of webhooks, we can either do HTTP request or we can do an edge function. So I'm going to, sh I'm going to show you an example of both. So why don't we first do the HTTP request? So what's going to happen is that when there's an insert, when there's an update or a delete, it's going to send that table data to wherever it is you want to send it to. So I have a webhook tester here that we're just going to copy the URL for. Then we're going to come to the database webhook. We're going to paste that URL there. You can do things with the header. So if you want to include your anonymous key or anything like that, you can include that here. I won't for the sake of this tutorial. And then we'll just do create webhook. So now let's go test that. I should probably actually, let me rename this to There we go, just so we know which one is which. So let's go to the database, or sorry, to our table here. And let's just insert a new row in the fake data. I'm just gonna save it. So then now, if we come over to the webhook site test, you can now see that we get a bit of information here. I'm gonna zoom in so you can see that a bit better. There we go. <clears throat> So for one, we can see what type of operation it was. This one was an insert. We can see what table it was on. And then record is going to store the entire row record. So we only have ID there, but say we had another column for like name or something like that. That was a text field. And we just did something. We'll have to insert a new one. Insert a new one and we call it hello or something like that. Let me save that. We then see we just got this new request and this one has the name of hello. So record is going to store the entire row record and send it to you. Then this is just a schema and the old record. So if it was an update, the old record would be here. Let's actually take a look at that really quickly. We can just come over here to again to our webhooks, go to webhook, and we we can also add the update events here to our webhook and now let's go update one of those records. We'll add a name for this one, John Doe. We come back over, we now see we have another request. And now here you can see the old record was the, of course, the old record before the update. So before name was null, but now name in the new record is equal, well, it's not the new record, but an updated record is now equal to John Doe. All right, cool. So that's using the regular HTTP request, we can also trigger edge functions as well. So to do that, you have to have your edge function created. So we're going to go to uh, edge function, sorry. And I already have one here already created. We can look at the code really quickly. It's going to send the same data to the webhook test site that we have but this one's just checking for body and we're checking for record. And this is like, if you have something more advanced, like recently I had to do this because I was doing it, I was doing work for a nonprofit that wanted to 
send new users to their CRM when they're created. So I created one that on the user record insert, it would then also trigger the API to send that same user to the CRM. So that's just the code for that. We're just checking for body. We're just checking for the record. And then we're doing the same request to the webhook test site. So when we have that, we can then again, go to database, come to webhooks, go to webhooks, and then we can do create a new hook and we'll say send fake data. This one will be, I guess, edge function. And again, you select your table. We're going to, we're going to do fake data and we're going to do insert. And this one's going to now be edge function for the type of webhook. So now here I can do database webhook. Again, the same thing you would kind of do for the regular HTTP request. So we'll create that. We'll go ahead and actually delete this one. So we don't get multiple requests. There we go. And now we can go ahead and do the same thing. So in fake data, let's insert a new row and we'll just do that. That got saved, we come over and we can see that it is the same thing, but just for this edge function, I'm just sending the record instead of the entire object that had like where it came from, what type of event it was and what the old record was, like if it was an updated event. So yeah, so that's using Superbase database web hooks to trigger HTTP requests or edge functions to do other things with your data when things change in your database. So ladies and gentlemen, if you learned anything from this video, do me a solid and like this video, leave a comment on what you'd like to see more of and subscribe as we are trying to hit 100 subscribers. Hope you have a great rest of your day and happy building.